Activate Weird Science Fair. Run Experiment Soap Powered Boat. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and I'm one of the educators here at Clay Pit Pond State Park Preserve. In today's Weird Science Fair experiment, we're going to make a boat that's powered by soap. Before we get started, you're going to need to gather a few things. First, some cardstock or construction paper, scissors, a pencil, liquid soap, and a large container with about two to three inches of water in the bottom. Once you get that, we're ready to go. So let's get started. Okay, our first step is going to be to draw our boat. Your boat could be any shape you want, but there's one important thing that we leave a little notch in the back so we have somewhere to put the soap. I would also suggest to make your boat smaller than about a quarter of your tank. So then it has somewhere to go when we try it out. All right, draw away. All right, I'm all done drawing, and I hope you guys are too. Now it's time to cut it out. If you need help with scissors, ask a responsible doll to help you guys out. Great, my boat's all cut out. As you can see, I left a little notch in the back for us somewhere to put soap. Okay, now it's time to test out our boat. Go ahead and gently place your boat on the surface of the water. Once your boat is sitting in the water, open up your soap and put a small drop of soap right behind your boat. Whoa, look at it go. Your boat should have flown right across your bin and probably hit into the other wall. Let's talk about what happened. So, your boat moved across the water because we disrupted something called surface tension. Surface tension is the top layer of water molecules holding onto each other really tightly. When we put the soap in, it disrupted this, allowing some of those water molecules to hold onto each other a little less tightly. This created a force across the surface of the water, pushing your boat across. Now, have you heard of surface tension before? You might have if you've ever seen an insect standing on top of water. That's right, I said standing. Unlike you or me or other large animals who float, these insects can spread their weight across this strong surface tension and stand on top of it. That's pretty neat, right? Well, if you want to keep playing around with your boat, there's a few different things you can try, including different temperatures of water and different types of soap. See if these change how fast your boat goes across the water. Does anything else change? Let us know. I hope you enjoyed today's weird science fair experiment. Have a good day. Bye.